All right, guys, we're making a connection on this one. We correct the line so we can go back. We had to go back an inch on this particular drawing here. Let's go ahead and zoom in, make sure we're in the right path. Correct the line so we make sure we went up too far up here originally so we can back down to get our original spot back. One inch, so you're actually going off one inch, you gotta establish this line, the one inch line going back at the 45 degree angle. Got that established. Let's go ahead and put. We're gonna leave this, some of these lines in here because again we're gonna do this twice, not by default, but at this point we were gonna do it twice. Um, reason being, you know how we do always do it. We put an extra extra picture there, but I want to get everything on one piece of paper this time around. So you can have it again for future references. This is again a good example. So I literally want you guys to, be able to do this on your own. Create this, recreate this on your own without um, necessarily using a video. But the video is here for that purpose. All right, so we have this. Now we can establish this going this way. That's our top view, this right here. We'll make sure we have an inch, which is right there. Just by coming up two and coming at 45 and come over at one inch up, we was able to create this one inch this way. So you have it. The line is off. So I'm sure we come in this square. box up top which is here top view established we have our right view established which is right here again you always want to come back and check those lines I don't like it, but you do. No worries, I'll continue. Cannot be so content with the same results and then expect to get the same results, better results. the right tool for the right job man. just make the job that much easier that's try the satisfaction all right so inch and a half inch and a half one two three one two three inch and a half inch and a half two two now i must create this box here
second. Get back in there. And we build out these videos and we'll come back and do the original set just by itself. But again, this is a good why you already have the stuff already on here. It's best to continue building on that. Then you can always duplicate this on your own. That challenge comes. That's where you got <coughs> R, R, top, top, front, front. All right, so let's go ahead and continue it on. Let's go and put that in there. We're gonna leave these lines somewhat. We're gonna start making hidden lines like we always do, right? So the thing I must have, you must have. So hidden lines in there so you can see where you come from, how you got everywhere you got. And then we'll go ahead and finish this thing out. Get some color in here. And again, guys, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You just gotta start creating, seeing it, visualizing it, and it'll start coming to light. You, you, you're the artist, man. You don't know how, what's the time it's gonna be. You just gotta know you gotta keep having faith and keep moving. It eventually makes sense. It truly will. But again, it is you're gonna take time. That's what it's gonna do, it's gonna take time. So any colors you wanna use is fine with me. I'll keep it. Throw some colors in there for you. Alright. So let's just go ahead and make this out. This is your again your reference sheet is this right here. You know you went from here up two inches. And this is just for you, for your purposes. You won't be giving this to the client, but you can show the client this as well. And next drawing, you won't have none of this in there. But this is a, we also still have to put this 3D in here. So let's just go and finish this out while we're here. All right. We came up two on the border. One, two. One, two. Get this benchmark back here. So you can put your hidden lines in there. It's a critical point. 
Schutz. lines are here again they don't run through the diagram but just to show you the connection of how you got there all right just pinpointing all the joints So we got that, we got this. So I'll put some numbers in real soon in a second. Let's put our front view in. And this line becomes a hidden line. See that again, this is the front. So let's darken this box up a little bit. Again, if you use on a job site and definitely, you know, if you're looking at the temperature, because when you run a project, man, you look at it with all elements. It's just not waking up in the day and say, I'm just going to work. You are responsible for all things that happen. You got timelines got to be met. You have to everything, man. You have to, whether it presents itself, good or bad, you still have to get that in. So you might just be literally like the rain god and um, checking the weather all day they got this turtle dance they say it draws a turtle in a, on the ground and wherever the turtle I really don't at this point it's kind of funny to me how the direction of the turtle see a shadow or some sort like that it, it dictates if it's going to rain for the day. I'm like, is, isn't the turtle always in the water? That's, I don't know. 
You got different analogies for different things, man. Like Groundhog Day, you know. All these are funny terminologies, man. I thought we'd dictate. So we got T, 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 all those things in place, right? These lines up top, again, are hidden lines that come through here. They won't necessarily be in this diagram, but in this case, we're going to leave them just so you can see where you come from and how you got there. And you might just have a paper just for that. As you see, I'm going to do the next one. You won't have to do all this line. But this is a good indication again how you got to this point. You want to know, figure out how you got to this point? There you go. This is how you got to that point. And you can use this point to come over and do this point. Let's shade this bad boy in. Get a nice, nice orange. Let's uh, erase some of this. Now we can erase some of these lines. So we better shade. See, this is when the rain comes in, you still have the actual design. Might have to touch it up here and there, but again, you don't really you just snap over the top of it. Let's just shake this in. You never really know what people really need. I'll let you really ask in particular what they're looking for. So never assume that because you're hitting a mark, you're hitting everybody's preference. You see what I'm saying? So that's where we're at now. I can just leave it like this to show you shaded parts. Help distinguish the box better and what you're dealing with like this. Um, in this case, we're just not playing around. We just want to, we can label each box with a color. We got the front view here. We put each color a different color. Again, you can just, um, if you still have no, well, let's just do this. We'll make this, each box a different color. 
so you can distinguish how you got to these each color like how to break it down to like this is where it breaks this is this right here this is this right here and this is this and this and this i'm sure at one point you are aware of this but it's okay for those individuals that struggles because you gotta understand you you complimented everyone not just again that's why i say I, I target all ip 504 el learners uh someone just getting into the trade someone's been in the trade for a while and looking for new ways to accommodate those who are coming into the trade and give them a better understanding how to get there so i hope these videos are helpful in that form of fashion i'm also actually trying to get this not just to here in hawaii i want to get this all the way across the united nations man everybody should be able to, be able to share this it's beautiful designs and concepts all right so we just try to keep these dark not to see hidden lines because we need those all right so let me try using this blue for the top and all I'm just doing with these is just to distinguish between what is what elevation and also it helps with your coloring skills too all right light shade of this Distinguish between the two. All right, we're creating our L. Absymmetric blue. All right, so we got blue, blue, blue. What color should make the last one? Yellow. So I would say yellow. Also, it'll be a podcast connected to these things too, man. some of this stuff concepts better all right let's do the yellow and that's all your views and how they're separated too heavy man just some light lines to help the painter you know the painter has to see what's going to be what so you just help the painter out yo this is what i want you know canary yellow whatever like that. it's not canary yellow but you know just give them an idea of what you need so it helps everyone out at one point you want to be able to distinguish between everyone 
what you may need. They don't know what you need. You know, they can't figure it out still. They might just need that help. So you can able to write to the painter that, yo, this is what you're doing at these points. So the painter be able to distinguish, okay, okay, this is where we're at. You want to make it easy so you don't have to worry about doing so much guesswork at the end and everybody on the same page. All right, guys, so we're going to finish this up here. So if we go back and forth, let me zoom in a little bit so you see it. Now we're going to get into the last piece. Oh, what you been waiting for? So I ain't gonna do it too loud. I'm just gonna go. Chee <laughs> All right, guys. So again, this is where we at now. Do definitely color this up, man. Again, this is now you just we elevating our skill sets. We're accommodating all folks. This might just be the painting. You know, your client might want to say, "Yeah, I don't really want this color. That color on you know, the building, or the room, or the walls, whatever." So again, you are literally working with. Uh, a set of folks that have different preferences all around in order to accommodate all we must put it out there for everyone to see so again if I have it colored here you should do it the same makes it easy for you and all those that are around you that will be coming to look at your drawing your beautiful drawings Just last little bit of color in here. What color I have not used. I'll just color these boxes in green. In fact, let me just do this. Stay tuned for the last one right there, guys. Quarter inch scale equals six inches. Hit that like button, subscribe. And if you have any questions, then leave comments. Hasta luego.